People, talk to me. We good? I don't know, LT. All right, let's keep it together. None of us were expecting this, I know, I get it. But it's happening. Might as well be the ones making history. Great, no pressure. Sapphire 1-1, one, one, Alchemist. Getting a lot of interference here. VCX is breaking up. Could be electromagnetic radiation, over. Copy. Interrogative, do you have a visual? Over. Affirmative, we see you now. Continue on task towards your primary, over. What the hell was that? Alchemist, are you guys seeing this? It looks like floating debris. Only super localized. Roger, hold that position, Sapphire. Do not approach. We'll send the robot in to assess. Wait out. Yeah, robot first. Sir, many UGVs moving up. Telemetry's getting sluggish, and EMI's kicking up again. There. Is that it? <laughs> oh my god it, when this was teased three days ago people immediately went it better not be fucking alien <laughs> I could pull up like Ten different people, I know, like ten different areas where people would just say, it better not be goddamn aliens. It's goddamn aliens. <laughs> oh my god. So this is this is gonna be a first impression. I'm just gonna tell you guys my thoughts on it as, you know, a Zeus and um some issues that, you know, I've already thought of for this, but we're just gonna look through all this. I literally just opened this page. Let's I'm gonna rush it to YouTube, so let's let's go right off the bat. So boom, there's our little channel art. Hey, comes out July 25th. So global mobilization came out last month, and this is coming out in two months. Let's see, January, February, March, April, May. It's May, June, and July. So two more months from now, which would mean April to May, June, July. It's a three month break, which I guess is understandable. You know, one of these new third-party DLCs every three months would be good. I wish it would be a little longer, but, you know, I, I understand they have a schedule to utilize. Uh, I'm just happy. When I um, initially heard about this, I was hoping they wouldn't release it, like, now because, you know, globalization, uh, global mobilization, excuse me, still needs some time for everyone to work with it and play with it. Uh, you know, at least the map. Because from what I saw in there, there's probably some sort of new map in here. So let's look through the pictures here and see what we can see. So right off the bat, I think that's an MX right there. There's a spaceship. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It looks like something from uh, Sins of a Solar Empire. Something the, um, God, the Unity would use, to be honest. It looks like they're freaking Titan or something. So it looks cool. You got a new backpack right there. It's... Uh, interesting it's got some speaker systems there was some anomalies in the trailer like you know possibly some scp utilization or some uh god i'm an idiot what's that game called um stalker stuff so there's there's a lot of sci-fi ability here let's look at this one so we got that new ugv drone we saw that looks like a reskin of the af helicopter these guys in hazmat suits uh, looks like some sort of effect going on right here, and they're all, you know, clearly bundled up. I'm wondering if, um, 
there's actual, they were talking about electromagnetic interference and stuff. I wonder if they'll actually have a system where you have to wear this stuff and there's effects you can place down in Zeus to actually utilize that stuff. Because that would be really, really cool to have something where I could, you know, give people gas masks and then have instances where they need to put on their gas masks or something. That would be a nice little touch to have. But, you know, we'll probably all need the DLC for it because now... Bohemia has us all having to load the DLCs to use the freaking asset. So this looks like some sort of new faction with uh looks like a new helmet actually, but let's see. Can't really tell if those are new weapons. That one isn't. But I think that might be some sort of new rifle right there. Uh looks like a reskin of uh that's a CSAT or AAF vehicle reskin uh for their transport truck. But a lot of this is um NATO retextured stuff. And then that's a new flag, so probably some sort of new uh, group. That's the Maws back there. So yeah, some sort of NATO backing for these guys. So, alright, it's not bad. Okay, so there's your spaceship back there. Again, NATO guys reskinned. This time I'm seeing that uh, US flag, though. So, I think this is a different camo pattern, though. Um, that's not Tropic, and that's not the uh, Altus one. So, new NATO reskin faction, and then new... Discord faction. I'm pretty sure it'll probably, yeah, it'll tell us down there. So I'm making predictions. This goes to my credibility. But this is really interesting. I have no idea how to use it, but again, tying into, you know, I'd love to see us be able to utilize something new. And it's, you know, they're pointing it there, so I wonder if that's, like, you know, something to track anomalies or stuff. So, you know, really get cheeky, breaky stalker with this, because that would be, that would be dope. All right, what do we got here? We got a Kajman, Black Kajman. My eyes immediately draw to that little radiation symbol because this looks a lot like the Black Kajman, but it might be a separate skin itself. And this is some sort of CSAT faction because you got those compact MVGs, but the guns look like the AK-12s, but no, they're suppressed and stuff. So these are different guns. That one looks like the... Uh, the CSAT uh, Pacific uh, Marksman Rifle or something, but that looks like an RPD and that looks like an AK, so looks like two new guns right there. But um, it mentioned in a, <clears throat> a different teaser that they were, um, that it was, it talked about Russia, and I've been seeing, it wasn't, I think it was, it might have been Russian, but it was something Russian looking, so... I don't know, like Russian Special Forces, Spetsnaz, something. Would make sense. You know, Kajman's a transport. Only six of them get out, which is, you know, a normal Spetsnaz-style group. They've got the balaclavas on. Yeah. Russian Special Forces from the looks of it. See, now this is, this is Stalker. This is freaking anomaly stuff, and that's what I'm really curious to see. Also, that new terrain and that wheat field. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, again, I, I want to see a picture of something floating. That's what I really want to see. I want to see that effect. So this is a picture from the uh, trailer we saw. Again, new backpacks. The uh, new UGV drone. That's pretty cool. And then these uh, are either Spar 16s or MXs. Uh, just, you know, rolled back through. But, you know, these... And they got the gas mask, too. And, yeah, that, that looks like... That's some sort of Slavic writing. So, another focus on drones... Cool guy shades, a uh, little task force patch. I have no idea what this is, but both of these guys have them on their secondary from the looks of it. That might be, you know, something for uh, spying devices, but is that NATO group again? And they're in some sort of urban scenario, which is nice. There might be a village. So, you know, fully enterable buildings would also be pretty dope. So here's another shot of that against Spar 16 MX. He's suppressed, though, which is interesting. And then that drone, you can actually move its arm up and down. I'm assuming it's some sort of camera. And then we have a vehicle back there. Looks like a Hillux truck or something, or some sort of off-road. Next. Yeah, that's the same freaking thing right there. But look at all this decontamination stuff. So yeah, I'm really hoping we get some sort of like chemical warfare stuff. That would be really freaking dope. But um, my... I uh, Just... For global mobilization to use any of its assets, you have to have the freaking DLC loaded. I'm hoping, no, it's probably going to be the same way. Everyone, like, in order for me to use these in an op, I'm going to have to have everyone load the freaking DLC. All right, this looks dope. So this is that same symbol we're seeing on the patch. And we have a different symbol here. So this is the NATO dude. 
So this is the NATO task force group, whatever, and these are the local other faction. So, yeah, so NATO is working with these guys. That explains why their equipment looks so similar. So this is Blue Force stuff, basically. And, you know, you got your... There's, the, uh, there's that little handgun device thing again. It looks like a new laptop texture, remote designator, laser designator, and drone. You got the Wildcat helicopters flying in the background. Then it looks like an AAF retexture of um transport truck. All right, it's not bad. New berets, too. Another off-road looking car back there. All right. Cool. Okay, so this looks like some independent stuff. That's a shotgun. That is a freaking blunderbuss looking motherfucker. <laughs> Double barrel. All right. All right. Finally, we got a shotgun in Arma. I hope it works like a shotgun. They've got pellets and other stuff. It looks like they're taking tech back here. So this is like a some bandits or something but that would actually be really cool because i would love to make some new factions for you know independent forces but then again if everyone has to load the fucking dlc then i'm kind of screwed there because this thing's what 27 it's on sale for 25 but it's 28 bucks it hurts it honest to god hurts okay so again really cool Really freaking cool. Look at this little, like, satellite SOTCOM antenna. That's great. You got hoses here for detox, decontamination. You got device laptops, some familiar assets. That one's vanilla. Some of these assets I've seen before. Some of them brand new. Really awesome. That's a that's an enterable tent that's based off of the IDAP tents. Really cool, but uh, I can't ask, like, 30 people to buy this DLC for that, you know? It hurts. It hurts. I'm looking at really cool stuff, but ah, uh, that's a radio backpack. Can Arma get like T far or Acre or something built into its fucking base game already? <laughs> like get endorsed by ta uh by Teamspeak and just make it happen? Cause Jesus Christ, we need that. Like that's cool, but maybe maybe it'll fuck with the vanilla com system for the electromagnetic. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, so bomb-diffusing drone. Here's a map with all the mines on it, that's pretty cool. Mine sign, that's vanilla. Excuse me. It's like a seismic graph back there, people disarming mines, so some... Not IDAP, but, you know, some civilian workers, and those look like uh, NATO guys, so I uh, EOD practice, not bad. You get the fucking Chernarish tractor. Um, you got a little bit of, no, that's exhaust coming from it. So again, pick up the new map. Two civilians back here, I guess, farm guys. Uh, yeah, or maybe, actually, I don't think bandits would drive freaking tractors, so farmers, I guess. And that looks like some sort of, uh, M, I don't know. I'm actually kind of looking at it. It's got some sort of, like, mechanic up here. Like, um, I don't know. I want to say, like, a Car 98, actually. Like, some sort of, like, World War One or Two rifle. Might be semi-auto, might be bolt action. Okay, cool. So, armed civilians. Here's a picture of the new map. Looks pretty fucking dope. I, I'm just curious to see, is it going to be, like, a 5x5, five five, a 10x10, 10 10, or a 20x20? 20 but then again, if I have to make everyone get the DLC, it's just, again, I'm holding it with a grain of salt. These look like Mora retextures. I mean, it's got the backing of a Bradley, though, but the gun barrel makes me think Mora. That's all right. Some armored ops. Cool. And then, yeah, your, your Wildcat retextures. So this DLC is going to have more content than global mobilization when you think about it, which is... A little sad, but, you know, cool. Nonetheless, pretty cool. Okay, so let's let's look down here. So, available July 25th. That's in about two months, right? Jennifer, March, April, May. That's the 5th. And then May, June, July. Yeah, so we have two months for this. Lovely. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Soldier deployed to Livonia. What's that, a model off of Latvia or Liv Livovania, something like that? So this is a parody region, but it's modeled off of, like, uh, you know, Cold War-esque style stuff in terms of the terrain. So, okay. 
military science fiction campaign, massive new terrain. So I'm hoping 10 by 10 or 20 by 20. New factions, weapons, vehicles, outfits, equipment, and more stuff for Armor 3 Sandbox. Cool. Key features. Single player campaign. I'm going to play the hell out of that. Awesome. Cool. You're a specialist doing all this stuff. Over the course of this campaign, you will engage in field science electronic warfare. That's something I'm really curious to see how they do. Combat recon, so probably fighting those special force-looking boys we saw up there. That's that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for that. So, let's see. Uh, Livonia terrain, so basically, you know, Cherno-Russian-esque style terrain. 163 meters squared. So what's the square root of 163? It's about... It's in between... Uh, it's 13 by 13, right? Something something around 13 by 13. Because 13 by 13 is like 169, and 14 by 14 is 196. So... It's a little under 13 by 13. So, okay, that's... That's not bad. So basically a 12 by 12. A little bigger than a 12 by 12. So that's that's not bad at all. Yeah. Larger Polish speaking. Yeah, so Livonia. Yeah, so that style of terrain. Landlocked NATO member state. Shares borders with four nations, including Russia. Yeah, Russian, blah, blah, blah. See, it's that partner, Belarus. So yeah, it's... um. It's it's basically just Cold War with aliens and Stalker. It, it's it's literally Stalker, but with superpowers <laughs> fighting each other. Uh, that's dope. So two factions. You got the local defense force and a hey, Russian Spetsnaz. <laughs> Why am I not fucking surprised? I'm really curious to see. It, it's gonna be no. It's gonna be um of it's like. Arma 3's global mobilization. You have to load it separately. So I can't use Russian Spetsnaz in an Altis op unless everyone loads that DLC. So, ew. Five new factions, or no, two new factions, five new weapons. LDF used their own rifle, Promet assault rifle. I didn't really get too many shots of that, but it's a, it's a bull pop. Okay. And with a unique detachable carry handle. I wonder if you can do that. So it's got under barrel grenade launcher integrated scopes. All right, that's cool. But I wonder if there's an action so you can actually take off the uh, carry handle if it's just a different thing. Two new additions: the AK family used by the Russian Spetsnaz, the RPK-12. We saw that, and the AKU-12 rifle. So yeah, basically a uh, more modern AK. Lastly, Livonia's civilian hunting enthusiasts have two weapons: Mark 14 classic hunting rifle. So it's a hunting rifle. It's you know, it's like a car 98 or yeah, so I was right there. So it's a basically an earlier Mark 14. All right. Singular fire walnut stock version of the military issue Mark 14. All right. And the coal and the shotgun. So 12 gauge, which fires slug or buckshot shells. All right. That's cool. Comes in a regular and sawed off version. All right. Not that bad. Not that bad. Two new vehicles. You have that little UGV that we saw. Okay. And it's got a science version. Eddie? ED-E. Is that a fucking Fallout New Vegas reference? I hope that's a Fallout New Vegas reference. That would actually be dope. <laughs> For the science variant enclave. I love that. I love that. For military units, you have the ED-1D. With a mounted disruptor shotgun. Ideal for demining operations and close encounters. So this this is an <laughs> you can you can drive into someone's house and blow their head up with a shotgun. <laughs> okay, I gotta give points for creativity there. That's actually pretty dope. I was hoping we'd get an armed UGV, but with the shotgun. <laughs> oh, that's that's great. That's great. Okay. And then the opposite side of the vehicle spectrum, you get a tractor. <laughs> yeah, the, the Aliens DLC, it added a fucking drone with a shotgun <laughs> and a tractor. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm digressing so hard. That just, that makes me laugh. This reliable diesel workhorse from Arma 2 returns with a major upgrade to its model and texture, blah, blah, blah. Okay. 
and might prove unexpectedly useful in certain cir- Okay, that means we're gonna have to drive this thing in the campaign. I'm calling it right now. There's gonna be an oh shit, something fucked up happened, I'm alone, I'm gonna have to drive away from Spetsnaz in a goddamn tractor. I'm calling it now. I am calling it now. <laughs> oh my god. Gear. Uh, let's see. Riding new gear, most striking equipment, CBRN, chemical, biological- Ooh. Does that actually, like, defend you against stuff? Will that pull up variables in the arsenal? And I'll be able to, you know, have some effects like that? Because that's... That can be some really cool SCP or stalker stuff. I've been waiting for shit like this. That would be really, really nice. Uh, you got air purifiers. And a breathing apparatus backpack. So that's what we saw. Uh, if we go, like, way up here. That guy's backpack. Or this squad's backpack that we saw back there. So... Yeah, and then there's a little, I think that's a hook thing tied to their breathing mask. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, this involves an oversuit tool. So that's those hazmat suits we saw. The spectrum device is a handheld transceiver that can act as an electromagnetic spectrum analyzer. So there's some SCP stuff in here. That's dope. That's actually fucking dope. Sweet. It can send and receive a myriad of signals on various frequencies while depending on what antenna is fitted. It can also be used for jamming or deception. So, is there now a radio mod built into Arma and we just introduced radio jamming? Or is that just going to be a plot point for the campaign? Because I would love to see a TFAR dependency added to incorporate that into TFAR, because that would be dope as hell. Because the current radio jamming scripts for TFAR cause so much lag at times. But I'm... I'm I'm wish I'm wishing for great stuff. <laughs> so as such, essential when it comes to scientific study communications. Yeah, so radio stuff or engaging in electronic warfare. That's that's cool. That's actually something pretty interesting. Additionally, there's a radio backpack. So maybe maybe there are radios. I don't know. Who knows? Prisoner blindfolds, and of course, the most proven measure of defense against alien interference, a tin foil. I swear to God, every DLC is going to have a meme thing. The last one, Global Mobilization, was the potato gun. This one's going to be a tinfoil hat. And if you put all these meme items on when all the third-party DLCs are done, you'll have you'll unlock something and it'll be amazing. I don't know. <laughs> Little is known about our extraterrestrial visitors, but their largest observed vessel is hard to miss. That's that big motherfucker, presumably employing a form of gravitational control. It appears to have little trouble in maintaining... Rotation, despite its massive size, unclear weather, blah blah blah, arrival in sight, blah blah. But the UFO is believed to purposely hover above an underground alien network that spans at least several kilometers. Can we have tunnels? I would love some fucking dedicated tunnels in a map. That would be dope. They're a pain in the ass to build. <laughs> this network's purpose and origin are entirely unknown, but appears to be incredibly old since it has under, uh, gone unnoticed for the longest time. Recent reports also mention sightings of highly advanced car-shaped alien entities surveying UFOs nearby environment. However, much more information is needed for tribute cup. Okay, okay. So, what they might have here is there could be an alien faction that's not talked about up here, and this is just teaser bait, or it's just, you know, a few things to hint at stuff. Either way, who knows? Additional multiplayer scenarios jump into Arma 3's official Zoom game, Combat Patrol Warlords. So, basically, official Zeusing, Combat Patrol, and Warlords are now available for that terrain. Cool. Stuff to do on dedicated servers. Free Ooh! So this is a free update content for all. Okay, okay. This I like. This I like. Let's make it... Here's the deal. I really want it to go back to the other system. And the other system was... You could have all of this stuff in Arma, and you could have it on missions and stuff. It's just people that didn't have the DLC that used the stuff would get the fucking pop-ups. I'm perfectly okay with that. Absolutely perfectly okay with that. It's just global mobilization, you have to load it separately, and you don't do that, and it really alienates the player base. So I'm really hoping that gets switched to something like this. So what do we got? The NATO woodland camouflage we saw up there. Okay, top cack, figured that out. Civilian clothing, okay. 
for the the farmers, international astro scientists, which I'm assuming what we saw with the NATO guys, and the looters. Okay, so this is going to excite me a lot more than a lot of people because uh, what this basically means is I can make some new independent style factions for literally anything with some new vanilla based clothing. Since it's free for everybody, I don't have to worry about people buying it. So that's actually really cool. This probably one of my favorite parts of this entire DLC, actually, some dedicated looter style clothing because really all you had was the fia or civilian clothes but if you have some actual or the syndicate but now we've got a bit more diversification for people that like to make their own factions and campaigns cool 100 plus decorative and terrain up oh so all that cool stuff we saw up there is going to be released for free dope so the freaking the detox all that's for free awesome and uh, where else where they were all unloading in that area? All of that stuff. Okay. That makes me happy. That's, that's something we can celebrate. Because that means we can utilize all of that and we won't have to... Like, I can use it in other maps, basically. So that's okay. And then soundtrack. Well, I'm, I'm curious to hear what it is, but I'm not too excited about it. Some of these marked items might have advanced scripted gameplay functionality with an Arma 3's first contact single player. However, please be aware that they are purely cosmetic and or decorative when used across... Uh... So I'm assuming that's going to be... Yep, by, by this. So this is, this is all scripted. This is all... Ah... Uh... <laughs> They couldn't make some modules for us. Now, counter though. Counter though. I'm wondering if they'll release these scripts. Because if they do, that would be really, really cool. Because then people could make stuff out of it. So, yeah. Okay, that's... That's a little disappointing. Pre-order now for sneak peek access, so you get to see some of the stuff early. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I'm wondering if this is a third party or if it's just Bohemia did this as one of their special things. Oh yeah, no, it's it's them. So this was one of their own projects. Keck. Just <laughs> Keck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to make a second video. I'm naturally I'm going to buy this, but I'm not sure if I'll give away 100 keys of this cuz uh I'm a bit tight on funds. Bloodwind wants me to go to Greece with her. But yeah, this is just looking at the DLC and, you know, my take as a Zeus looking through it. So, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, concerns below, put it in the YouTube channel description or comments, excuse me, and uh, I will get to them. So thank you for listening. Go operate operationally and uh, we'll we'll go see if we all get invaded by aliens. <laughs>